in today's video, I'll be showing you guys what my mom picked up for me for a World of Springfield sets and characters, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the Simpsons Collector and again in today's video I'll be showing you guys what my mom picked up from a uh, Facebook um, online sale or something auction pretty cheap now before we get started there are some pieces missing as you can tell from this set alone if you guys own this set I am missing a couple characters plus one of the gravestones which I'll show you in a minute so not everything is here but it isn't there enough that you can tell what exactly what it's supposed to be. And I have a few characters that are loose in my collection that I can add to it to help, I don't know, help add to it. So, start off with the, the Treehouse of Horror one. So, this is one of the characters that came with it. When Bart turned himself into a fly, basically. Half fly, half Bart. It focuses. There it goes. Pretty neat. I don't remember the other two characters that were supposed to come with it, but I swear I'll probably put something up or a picture it up or something. Now the set itself is very. I really enjoy this one. A lot of detail to this one. As you can tell, we are missing a gravestone right there. I'm gonna guess that's uh scratchy or something. I think I know one. Eat my dust. Pretty cool. Springfield Cemetery. I like the little gatehouse, everything. This would be perfect up in my uh treehouse of horror shelfing area. I have a perfect idea what I'm gonna do with this one. So yeah, pretty neat. It's one of the one of the four we got. So let's go on to the next one. And moving on to the next one will be I'm gonna guess this is the town hall with Mary Quimby. We even have a little sign that came with it, voting for Mayor Quimby. Sorry about the glare. Got a little mayor stash or something going on there. And this figure, pretty cool. Hey, got a little podium with a backdrop of a bunch of people. Pretty neat. It's a town hall also in the background. You know, this is the front of it, I'm pretty sure. This one's pretty cool as well. There's the back of it. Bunch of mics. Pretty neat. That side. But yeah, this is a uh, Mayor Quimby set. So let's move on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, we have the Springfield DMV set. Comes with Selma. I already have Patty sealed and loose now. So I'll be adding Patty to the set because, well, they belong together. But this is pretty cool. You can only get Selma from the set. You can't get her loose or anything. Not every character you can get loose, sadly. Well, from a card. You have to pick up the set to own the character. So that's pretty cool. Quite a bit of detail on this stuff. I really enjoy it. Springfield DMV. And we have a someone doing a driver's test. Looks like a looks like a teenager doing a driver's test, hitting the cops. 
sign. No ladies running with her dog for life. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like all this tiny little detail that he added into these sets. Really brings them to life, I feel like. It makes you actually want to look closer at the set and try to see every little detail that came with the set and the character. So, let's move on to the final one that my mom got. Now, I kind of saved the worst one from last. Uh, we are having a broken piece on this one. And we are missing something on it as well. If you guys do own this set, you probably can already tell what it is. But we are missing the characters. Or character, which I do have a poo loose. So I'll probably be adding them to the set. But we are missing a piece and something is broken. Which I found out just a few minutes ago. So... But other than that, it's still pretty cool. I enjoy it a lot. But uh, as you can tell, right there, that's the broken piece. I'm going to guess it's probably another nozzle or a squishy machine. It's broken, but uh, that's okay. And we're missing a topper that goes to this right here as well. Other than that, everything's pretty good. Now... She did pick this up on an auction for a decent price, so can't really go complain because these are not the cheapest things to pick up. One of these things could go for like 30 to 40 bucks now, anywhere you look. So, it is getting to the vintage side of everything. Now, we got a hot dog and a hamburger if it focuses. There it goes. Try to focus onto the background. But you can see the three bowies in there. I can never remember all their names, so I apologize. But I do have a few of them on card, I think. I have a couple of them already in my collection. But uh, I like that all the detail. We got a squishy soda thing I spilled on the ground. Some uh, uh, cigarette butts on the ground. A lot of, a lot of detail. I really like this thing. And there's that as well. Let's put this down. Oh, almost forgot. Video's not over us. We have final one right here. We have Radioactive Man and Barnacle Boy. Sorry about that. I almost forgot about this one. I kind of sat on the side of the other side of the Simpsons room and almost forgot about it. But we have Millhouse as Barnacle Boy. Pretty neat. His cape, glasses, his everything. Pretty neat. Here we have Radioactive Man himself. And here is the stand that they come with. It looks like it's some type of like moon rock or something. They're on the moon, maybe. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be for. Maybe it lights up or glows in the dark. I don't honestly know. And it comes with a little radioactive flag. Which is pretty neat. I figured somewhere I could put this at. Don't really know where I'm going to put this in my collection. But that's where I find a spot somewhere. Now. After that one. Dude, that's it. For this video and again if you guys enjoy the simpsons enjoy collecting the simpsons please hit that bell button and that subscribe button because it goes a long way for let me know you guys enjoy the simpsons and the channel i'm really hoping to build this channel up to something big and better 